idea for a tunnel crossing at Dartford was first proposed by the Ministry of Transport in 1924, and the first two-bore tunnel was completed in 1963, delayed by the war. By 1917, traffic had far exceeded expectations. It was fourfold the initial estimates, so a second tunnel was opened in 1980. The completion of the M25 motorway in 1986 further increased demand and gave rise to the idea of a four-lane bridge crossing. The new structure was privately financed and was designed by engineer Helmut Homburg. It is a cable stayed bridge and had, at the time of its 1991 opening, the longest span of any of this type in Europe. Traffic has again risen beyond expectations since, making the crossing subject to congestions and delays. High winds forced the bridge to close for one day and two evenings during the winter storms of 2014, causing yet more disruption. The QE2 is a surprisingly modest bridge considering its size and dominance. It's not lavished in intricate details or teeming with colour, instead its beauty lies in the clean, sharp lines of the cables and towers. This makes sense if you think about the people who will view the bridge. Pedestrians are banned and vehicles are not permitted to stop, so they would not be able to see any intricate details if they were there. Likewise, locals who see the bridge see it from a distance and are only able to make out the shape of the structure. All this shows the designers thought very carefully about who would see their bridge and created it around them. This is the last bridge over the Thames before it flows into the North Sea. And due to the width of the river and the requirement to allow cruise liners underneath, it is a colossus in a completely different scale to all the other bridges over this great river. Its 450 metre span broke records on a European level and the Catrons are designed to protect its piers from a 65,000 tonne ship doing 12 and a half miles an hour. Additionally, the project was the first to be fully privately funded in Britain in the 20th century and traffic lived up to expectations, growing by some 70% since the bridge's opening. This is a truly spectacular bridge. The QE2 bridge opened in 1991. The width of a river at this point is 484 metres. And a whopping 57.3 metres of clearance. There are six piers in the water, making seven spans. 65,000 people cross the bridge every day. With 197,500 tonnes of freight. What do you think of this bridge? Rate it by clicking on the link in the description. And you will contribute to the popularity rating of the trump card. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.